What's up guys, my name is Jellycook5 and welcome back to episode of the Korea Club Career Mode. But before we get into things, it'd be much appreciated if you're able to hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. And in terms of all my socials, they're all linked down below so you can keep up to date with everything going on with the channel currently. We have a big game at home, obviously our Premier League form isn't exactly the best as of the moment as we look to try and see if we can catch up to Manchester City who are currently leading the Premier League. At home then, we're looking for a decent result and all three points and hopefully this is the team to lead us to them three points. Valisev in goal and Dika and Scherz at the back there with Alvarez on the right, Medina on the left. Gustavo Heimer comes in and De Jong in the middle there for our fifth just in front. Alexis Vega on the left hand side, Louis Barry on the right hand side and Luka Jovic up top. A bit of a rotation in fixtures so we've got a bit of a rotation in the side but with that being said let's get into things and see what happens. We were hoping for a quick start in this Premier League fixture just to put the nerves to a side in all honesty because our Premier League fixtures haven't really been going as well as what we would like to have done. Obviously our form is still there but in terms of league form it's not happening because Diver Heimer makes a lovely interception and that is how you get a quick goal nice and easy. Luka Jovic gets himself on the score sheets four minutes into the tie and we are already leading in this game at home. Very very happy to be able to get Jovic on the score sheet once again and he's been a bit of a mixed form this season but he has got on the score sheet though and it is a lovely goal against Fulham. Gustavo Heimer making a vital interception in the middle of the park and Fulham just didn't have the men back to be able to retrieve the ball quick enough and that is a simple but perfect goal from Luka Jovic as he puts inside 1-0 ahead. That's exactly the start that we had wanted but as you can see much to spare to Marco Silva as Fulham get themselves started off then in this tie six minutes into the game and they try and see if they can make a lovely quick restart. Rodrigo Munez makes a lovely run into the box there as Per Scherz just runs him off the pitch just shoving him onto the side then but we get our way with that that one to be honest because Moon has looked very very strong and as you can see he looks very fast at the same time trying to create something for his side then on the right hand side as he looks to try to see if he can get the ball back to himself then and Moon is plays his team at him really well running into the box decent delivery needed but Kevin Alvarez clears then as far as Luka Jovic as Jovic makes a 1-2 of Alexis Vega Jovic makes himself available there as Vega makes a run on the left hand side looking to try and see if he can create something for his side then and he makes a lovely run twisting and turning in front of the full and defence then making it hard for the ball to get off of then as he runs himself into the box then decent chance for Alexis Vega Keeper gets down to that one there as it goes out for a goal kick as Vega gets the final touch. But that's definitely a lovely bright moment in this tie. But that was it pretty much near for the first half. As it's second, uh, near, we got a chance near to the end though. But the first half was really, really dull. Fulham just sat back a lot of the time. Not really kind of allowing the pressure to happen. And we just couldn't really get any shots off. It's very hard to break down 10 men behind the ball. But as you can see, Fulham try and see if they can get themselves started just before this half-time whistle. But Ndika makes a lovely interception then finding Louis Barron on the right-hand side. He plays off Luka Jovic who's onside. He's in on goal, only the keeper to beat. But Sutalo makes a really, really good interception. And that will be the end of the first half. We go into the second then. There's a number seven, Roder, puts it onto his teammate really well. He tries to see if he can get past Medina, but he makes a lovely crunch tackle then, finding Alexis Vega off the slide tackle. Vega runs with it, and he's just going there. And he opened the gap there. As you can see, Vega's on his own. He's got no support, but there's no one in front of him. And he has found the back of the net to make it 2-0 in this tie. 49 minutes into the game as Alexis Vega thumps his side in front to this, into a 2 goal goal lead very very happy that is the case to be able to get a goal straight at the first half and straight at the second half there very much the case of making a big impact and less for us to do further on into the time Medina made that game to be honest Medina made that move sorry he really really did well to be able to get that tackle in and just slide to be able to get the ball onto Alexis Vega at the same time so it kind of acted as a tackle and a pass and we are now 2-0 up in this tie 51 minutes being played Fulham haven't really had many chances can they create something for themselves there as they look to drive forward then pink shirts offering support then as you can see as Muniz is offering support then Muniz on the ball the number 9 for Fulham plays it onto his teammate and it's just like that they have got a goal they haven't really poised much threat in this tie but they now have got a goal and it is now 2-1 monitoring their advantage to only 1 now and it looks very interesting for this last half an hour or so Muniz just plays his teammate in really well he's onside at the same time I think Medina's playing on at the time Valisev was on his toes at the same time and he just rushes out to it but unfortunately it's not enough to be able to stop it. He makes his body big at the same time so we have to put hats off to Valisev for trying to intercept that play but unfortunately he could do nothing as we get things restarted and as Medina makes a quick run into the gap there as he finds Luka Jovic and just like that we could get a goal but Luka Jovic decides to chip in. Unfortunately we cannot beat the keeper on this instance as we do continue as we reach the half an hour mark then as you can see we clear a free kick then deep in our, their half then looking to try and see if they can create something on the outside of the area then as they try 
try and pass it about really nice here. Paulina's on the ball. And they're just monitoring the space. And they're doing really, really well to hold on to the ball at the same time. Trying to see if there's any inroad, any gap that they can run into to sort of create some sort of play and get themselves back into the game. And as you can see, the more they pass, the more further up the pitch they went. Perth Scherz making a lovely interception as he finds his teammate, Akuma Fifth, on the right-hand side as he retrieves the ball and he runs with it. A fifth has got pace to be able to see if he can beat the Fulham's defenders. And as you can see, the stamina's low for himself. And he whizzes past them. A fifth tries to see if he can get a ball in. Decent delivery. Jovic whips onto it. So does Heimer. Hits the post. Very, very unlucky there as Jovic tries to get the shot off, but he can't. It was really lucky to fall out to Kostaiba Heimer, but very unlucky to hit the post. But that would have been a lovely effort to be able to beat the keeper and make it 3-1 as we make some substitutions. And Sudikov comes off the bench then for a fifth. And then we also bring on Medjbury and we also bring on Francisco Lopez. And look at this for an absolute ping. Medina, take a bow, son, because he is a assisted teammate to make it 3-1 in this tie as Alexis Fate grabs his second of the game. We get a throw in then in the 84th minute. It was much the case of where we really need to be able to get a last goal to be able to finalise this game as it still was only 2-1 late in the 90 and we're lucky to be able to get that goal. A really, really good delivery from Medina then. Just evaluates the play then he just holds it up really nicely and a lovely direct ball into the box. He's Alexis Vega just nod it in then. Keep having absolutely no chance of that one and as you can see we will celebrate that one. Very, very happy about that. That is for sure as we've got three minutes left of this tie. Fulham are pretty much down and out and as you can see we're going to make matters worse as Vega plays in Lopez from a mistake and Lopez P rolls it into the goal to make it 4-1 in this tie. Very, very, very happy with this result. Four goals at home. Unlucky we can't keep a clean sheet but we've definitely dismantled Fulham and that is to be said as you can see we just make the most of a mistake as the belt ball just fell to Vega and Vega was really, really quick to be able to kind of put it onto Lopez straight away and Lopez was in a lot of space then. He just taps it past the keeper. Keeper was rooted in that situation having no chance whatsoever to be able to get to that one and it's 4-1 and the full-time whistle has been blown then so the first game of the episode we walk away with all three points four goals and some very very good performances that is for sure Medina with that assist was very very good Vega got an assist and two goals very well played Jovic got a goal also and one to highlight that didn't mention too much was Gustavo Heimer he hit the post earlier on in the second half but he was good in the in the play as well so he made that first interception for the first goal and it was definitely a work well, because he was a bit of a workhorse to be honest in that midfield did really really well and very very happy with that performance all round second game comes at Selhurst Park then as we play Crystal Palace away from home this is the lineup. then making a few full changes Valizev in goals and Dika and Scherz keep their place so does Alvarez so does Medina Jones comes in with De Jong also then with Sudikov coming in for a fifth Alexis Vega on the left Nika Gonzalez comes in for Louis Barry on the right hand side and Luka Jovic keeps his place up top hoping for a decent result against the Crystal Palace side that are in the top 10 so far so they're performing well hopefully we can get all three points and move up the table ourselves here we go then, into the game we go, looking for another quick start in the first half then, as we retrieve the ball in the middle of the park then, decent interception from De Jong then, as you can see, and the ball's moving really, really nicely, Medina finds Vega on the left hand side, just cuts in on the right and does so well to turn the defender then, looking for a dust, decent chance here, so he finds Sudakov, he gets a decent shot there, but it won't beat the keeper anytime soon, as it just drifts wide, but that's definitely a positive start that has to be said, as Crystal Palace looks to try and see if they can now charge forward, now Phillips on the ball as he finds Boatang. Boatang gets shut down in the middle of the park then, Curtis Jones retrieves the ball and he just sweeps the ball up then trying to find his teammate there as he puts it onto Sudikov Sudikov has got Vega in front of him but it's too late to be able to play him in there as he holds the ball up looking for some options then we're just keeping the ball nicely just trying to see if we can get some options decent ball onto Alvarez now then as Jones pings it in then Alvarez tries to see if he can get the ball back to Jones then and he does really really well to do so Vega on the ball now as he just tries to see if we can run past his bus that Crystal Palace is parking here at the moment Bedina runs into the box decent delivery needed but Kelly gets it but Jovic makes the header and Kelly gets another Save. The former Liverpool man has made a few good saves so far in this time. We're trying to see if we can beat him on this occasion. As Sudikov finds Luka Jovic then as he tries to turn the defenders. And as you can see, the defenders are really, really holding so well. It's so hard to break them down. Decent effort once again, though. And Kellyer makes another save as it will go out for a corner kick. Dion, the man, to whip it in from the corner. It's been good so far. A decent clearance then, as you can see, as the Crystal Palace try and see if they can get the ball out and try and make some sort of attack for themselves. Adara, the number 16 for Crystal Palace, charges forward then and just holds the ball up and for whatever reason if he kept on going it would be much better for himself then but Jones intercepts in such a perfect place and Jovic is in and Jovic scores Luka Jovic makes it 1-0 then 2-2 two two for Luka Jovic as he makes it 1-0 as I say in the 18th minute Curtis Jones intercepted the ball in a perfect place and he looked up and saw Luka Jovic was making the run a gap appeared between the two defenders and there was no chance for the keeper to stop this one on this instance and it is now 1-0 Luka Jovic taking his chance on this time there as he just pings it on his right foot a keeper was pretty 
pretty much rooted in the position that he dived in. And unfortunately, it is now 1-0 then. Crystal Palace haven't really created anything so far. Can they do something like that? It's schematic schematifies his teammate there on the right-hand side. Looking for anything possible there. A Johnson finds his teammate Hadara. Then onto Phillips it goes. But once again, Curtis Jones acting some sort of powerhouse in that midfield. Really, really doing well to intercept the ball. Luka Jovic in on goal here. And it is very, very much the case where we are walking away with this one. Because we are now 2-0 up in this tie. Luka Jovic getting the second of the game. And Curtis Jones, the man, once again to assist the play. Then, And as you can see, Luka Jovic was a bit further away compared to the first goal. He ran in with the box really, really well. So the defence could not catch up with him for love or money. And we are very, very happy with that one. As we seem to be able to put a Crystal Palace play team away in a very nice fashion. That has to be said. Crystal Palace haven't had any sort of chances so far. And in the half an hour mark, then we're looking to try and see if we can search for a third. Then as Luka Jovic charges forward. But Boateng makes a lovely interception onto Phillips. It goes as they look to charge in numbers there as Byron finds his teammate Skamaka. Skamaka now holding the ball up for Byron then as he plays a 1-2 then. And Byron and Skamaka linking up really well. A gap appears then but Scherz makes the interception but he can't clear. And Byron latches onto that one and he has got a goal. It's now 2-1 with only a one goal advantage in the 33rd minute. And Crystal Palace have got their first goal of the game. They've looked very bleak in this first half. That has to be said. Not many opportunities really arising for Crystal Palace. The South London outfit have got back into the game though. And they have only got one goal to be able to get back now. Valizad not having any sort of chance with that one. Scherz should have really cleared his lines. And that would have been that. But as you can see, Crystal Palace looking to build on the momentum that they gained from the first goal. The number 25, Phillips, puts it onto his teammate Byron, the number 13. Then as he looks to try and see if he can create something, then into Phillips it goes. Macker on the ball now as he tries to get a shot off as he can't. Back to Byron, then onto his teammate. But see, it's really, really hard. And the keeper does save in the end as it burns the halftime whistle. And it is still 2-1 now as we go into the second half. Look to try and see if he can get a third and just put this game to rest. As Sudikov picks the ball up in the middle of the park, then to try and see if he can create something. The Ukrainian's got a lot of pace to be able to beat the midfield and defence. Has to hold the ball up though, as you can see, it's Crystal Palace, some sort of park in the bus, then as he finds Luka Jovic as he gets the shot off. But it gets blocked and Vega gets a rebound. But Kelly makes a very, very big save. That has to be said. He looks very unhappy with the defence as we make some substitutions. And Jovic has had a good game, but he's going to come off for Lopez and a fifth onto Sudikov. He hasn't really had the best of games. And Curtis Jones will come off the pitch after them two assists for Luka Jovic then as we see if we can get a third in this tie but Crystal Palace are looking good now they're looking to try and see if they can create something on the right hand side as Medina tries to cover his lines he does really really well to win the ball then and he does it really clean at the same time he tries to clear his lines but indeed he gets straight into it as it kind of switches the play but really really didn't mean to whatsoever as Kevin Alvarez makes a run on the right hand side using his pace to try and see if he can beat the defenders there as he makes a 1-2 with Gonzalez Gonzalez plays De Jong in then as he turns the midfielder really really well as he looks to try and see if he can play Lopez in Lopez still gets onto the ball then as he loses it but goes back onto him really really lucky to do so decent ball in as we can't latch onto it but Pershers does it hits the bar whatever he's doing at that sort of position high up the field I'm not too sure but that was very very unlucky and he hits the bar then as we still continue on 2-1 in this tie 75 minutes being played 15 minutes left then as we can try and see if we can get a third and a cream of fifth is the man to do so as he gets the third goal and that should be game set and the match and I would be very, very happy if that is the case. It's been a bit of a mixed performance here at Selhurst Park. Crystal Palace have definitely had their chances to get back into the game, but they just haven't taken them whatsoever. They've had a decent bit of possession. They've defended well at the same time, but we finally broke them down. And a cream of fifth is the man to get on the score sheet to be able to get the third goal in this tie. Kelly has had a very good game, but once again, he cannot stop that one. And that will be that. Full-time whistle has been blown here at Selhurst Park. We walk away with all three points for a second successive game. Another few goals, also three goals to our name unfortunately we didn't keep the clean sheet on this instance once again but it was definitely the case where we had a very good performance from start to finish I can't really uh can't be negative about that whatsoever as least we're scoring goals and we're getting the games over the line then that is the main thing as we look to try and see if we can bring that form into an FA Cup fixture now as we simulate a game against Stockport County our previous league two rivals can we get the win of course we can 3-1 win we play the B team then we missed a penalty Mukiela missing a penalty then Sims Barry and Phillips getting on the score sheet then and as you can see very happy that that is the case and actually went to extra time as you can see it's 1-1 all that way Louis Barry got on the score sheet and Phillips did so it looks to be that we didn't make it easy for ourselves but we are through to the next round of the FA Cup 
Last game of the episode then comes to the Emirates then away from home to Arsenal. The mighty Gunners are looking to try and see if they can claim all three points at home. And so are we, but away from home. This is the lineup then. Valisev and Gomez and Dika and Scherz keep their place as the centre-backs. Alvarez on the right, Medina on the left. Going for the same sort of theme as we played with Crystal Palace then. As Jones in the middle with Diog, as Sudikov plays just in front. Alexis Vega on the left-hand side. Nika Gonzalez on the right-hand side. And Luka Jovic cements his place in that striker role. Hoping for big things here at the Emirates as we know we're coming up against a very very much an elite side looking for a good, good performance and we're going to have to pull something out the bag to be able to get a result here. As you can see, Martinelli plays a decent ball in in the fifth minute then, looking to try and create something, but Indica makes a lovely interception in the end as he wins the ball off of Martinelli, plays in Nico Gonzalez, he makes a turn on the right hand side and he does really, really well to beat the defenders and look at him go. The pace is absolutely immense as he seems to be too much for Canate. In on goal here as he post, unfortunately hits there. As you can see, Kevin Trapp was nowhere near it whatsoever, but unfortunately his shot collides with the post and that will be be a goal kick but as you can see in the 25th minute Dion makes a lovely interception there pulling the ball off of Declan Rice and as you can see some sort of attack stem for ourselves then as Luka Jovic finds his teammate Alexis Vega looking for the shot then but he can't get it off now for Frankie De Jong and it is straight at Kevin Trapp then as I did call for a penalty initially but unfortunately it wasn't given but we are definitely knocking on the door that has to be said 27 minutes into the game Martinelli gets shut down by Kevin Alvarez as he finds Per Scherz Scherz does well to find his teammate De Jong in a real bit of bother then Per Scherz could have gone really wrong but he's played really nice here as Nico Gonzalez makes a run on the right hand side offering support for Alexis Vega Vega's got support also will he take it on his own he will do as he gets shut down by the defenders and it just rolls to Kevin Trapp's hands and it still stays nil nil as we reach the half now marking this first half looking to try and see him get a first goal in this game and break the deadlock Nico Gonzalez plays a teammate and Alexis Vega on the left hand side looking for something then as he cuts in on the right but it is a very wayward shot that has to be said as it blazes over the bar and it still stays nil nil Arsenal looking for their first chance in this tie as Ribeiro charges forward but it would have to wait there as you can see Alexis Vega picks it up on the left hand side as he finds Sudikov as Sudikov uses his pace to beat out to beat the defenders then offering support then as you can see the gap's opening up people in the box Luka Jovic is there and he wins the header to make it 1-0 and it is a goal every game for Luka Jovic as it's 5 in 3 unbelievable stuff from the Serbian that's what you want from your strikers unbelievable stuff really really did well to be able to make himself available and play himself onside at the same time but hats off to the Ukrainian Sudakov as he played a peach perfect ball into the box just reaching the, the, the ball and that was a very very well timed cross and an even better header so we have now broken the deadlock here at the Emirates and we are now 1-0 up as Arsenal get themselves restarted there's only a couple of minutes before the half time whistle will be blown though and as you can see we retrieve the ball straight away as Curtis Jones picks it up onto De Jong it goes Jones having a brilliant few games so far and look at this Alexis Vega here in on goal surely not he shrugs off the defenders but he can't shrug the goalkeeper off then as he has a go at his defence there Kevin Trapp but that was a very good effort to beat the keeper as it still stays 1-0 as we go into the second half then Kevin Alvarez makes a lovely interception there as he catches the Arsenal defence out running into the box he goes as he tries to do it all on his own but the shot does not make up for it unfortunately as it just strays wide as we still stay 1-0 in this tie 56 minutes being played then as Arsenal look to try and see if they can rate something with Rodrigo on the right hand side Rodrigo running forward then as you can try and see and he does really well to be able to hold the ball up at the same time Rodrigo looking dangerous here as he cuts in there, Medina being pulled from left right to centre, Bruno Gamara is on the ball now as he finds his Rodrigo, but once again Rodrigo on the ball, he might take a shot, he might pass it on, but look at him go, he's only doing it on his own, and Rodrigo with a brilliant effort but Valizev puts a stop to it as it will go out for a corner kick, and Rodrigo is the man to take the corner, but it looks to be they're going to play it short from the corner then, and they are going to do exactly that, as you can see Odegaard picks it up, but Curtis Jones makes a really good interception, and as Jones clears his lines, Sudikov picks it up as we look to try and see if we can create some sort of counter-attack now, Bruno Gamara makes a harsh tackle then as we await the referee's decision then Sudikov looking in some sort of pain then and we await for the referee's decision that was a very very poor challenge though that has to be said and it will be a yellow card for Bruno Grimes then very much deserved. There's no possible way that I had to be avoiding a card whatsoever as he stopped a decent bit of attacking play and he's lucky not to be able to get a red to his name. 20 minutes left in this tie then. Alexis Vega makes a decent run on the left-hand side as Medina played him in. Jovic chips it on to Nika Gonzalez and that was a very good effort then as he volleys it into the ground as it bounced and bobbled but that was very lucky as it didn't go into the back of the net and the Canate does eventually clear their lines. Arsenal are definitely on a thread but it's still only 1-0. There's only one goal in it. it. only takes one bit of brilliance for Arsenal to get back into this game as Martin 
Martinelli now picks up the ball as he finds Declan Rice then. Militao makes a lovely ball into Vargas and then the attack looks to be staying really, really well. Jota finds Vargas. Vargas has got a chance here as he puts it onto Jota, but Jota cannot get the, that pass off then. Very, very unlucky. It's now we go on the counter-attack. Alexis Vega charges forward now. As you can see, the men are really sparse at the Arsenal def defence as they try and get back then, but we kind of hold the ball up to be able to kind of allow themselves to get back. They win the ball initially though, but as you can see, it looks really poor for them as Luka Jovic is in here and he puts the game to bed to make it 2-0 in the 89th minute to be able to see all, see all three points here at the Emirates and we're going to be signing this episode off on an absolute high. Luka Jovic celebrates in front of the travelling fans and then look at that frantic celebration from Valazev also. He knows that we've got all three points in the bag as the Arsenal fans travel home in despair. Very happy with that one. That has to be said as it nearly went the other way as Arsenal look to try and see if they can grab an equaliser in this game to at least secure a point but it's not to be and we are going to be walking away with all three points here from the Emirates and we are having an absolute belt so far in these three games as we see the full time whistle has been blown 2-0 in the end a clean sheet three points and two goals at the Emirates what more could you want and a highlight performance from Luka Jovic then as he grabbed both goals then Curtis Jones and Dion lurking up so perfectly and it's exactly what I wanted that is for sure Nico Gonzalez and Alex Vega putting in a shift and to be honest they all did there's no bad highlights about it whatsoever no negative words to say about the team one bit as we had come against the second leg against Leco Madrid in the Champions League obviously we romped it previously in a 6-1 victory unfortunately this time we lose 3-0 but it's not a matter whatsoever because we're still going to win on aggregate and as you can see it's 6-4 on aggregate they needed a few more goals and to be able to tie it up into extra time if they wanted to do anything as we proceed through to the next round of the Champions League and as you can see this is the Premier League table and if you just look to it for a previous episode we've actually claimed some sort of points ahead of us and we're only now five points behind so very very intriguing to say the least very happy that I've been able to claim this gap and very much the case that we're now we're putting the pressure on Manchester City looking back on last episode I was very worried that it wouldn't even be able to claim that sort of advantage back but we still got to play them so there's three points gained there hoping for some sort of mistake and we might just be able to walk away with the Premier League title but we never ever know but that's all we're going to have to wait for the next episodes but I hope you guys have enjoyed this one please like and subscribe for more content though just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.